Well, Damn it! What? 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 What happened? Uh, it said a hundred. It said one, two, three, four miles the second before we started, and oh. it changed. Well, welcome back, everyone. We're sorry that we. Why, why does it feel so fucking? So okay. what? Felt a little loose. Felt like I was. The the steering was loose, but it's fine. I think I'm just going really fast, or I was. I have to slow down a little bit. Dude, is that Walter White in front of you? In his Aztec? Get off of my lawn. You fucking. Oh, I just found out the woman's racist. I didn't know she was racist before. Oh, is she? Yeah. The one that owns the Breaking Bad like house? some video of her saying something akin to like, There's a lot of you Mexicans. Or something about some, sh you know, something along those lines. Oop. Yeah. Oop. <clears throat> yeah, when I went by that house, uh, she was sound asleep. I peeked in the window to make sure. Should have thrown a pizza on me. I know. I should have. You missed out big time, brother. Dude, because you know they have the fence up now, so you can't do it, but like, if we got someone with a really good arm, like Luke, maybe? Oh, Luke. How mad fine. would they be? Did they think that they think that's done? They come out? Well, you know, the funny thing is, like, they're inviting people now to do it more by being assholes. I also, I just don't understand. it makes people want to do it out of protest of their kind of, like, assholishness. What did they, <clears throat> like, I, I, yes, it's their home, but also it's like, what did you expect when you bought it? You bought like one of the most famous television homes. I think they, uh, I think from what I've read, they potentially owned it before like Breaking Bad and moved in after like it was done filming. So like they didn't know upon purchasing that it was going to be this big thing. Well, there was an elderly couple that lived there during Breaking Bad <clears throat> though. Is that not the same elderly couple? No, it's a different couple. The elderly okay. couple used to bring people cookies and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. So like, like they were nice, fast. yeah. Like people would come by, they'd like have <clears throat> cookies and stuff is what I've read, and they would be really nice and let people take pictures. Um, they weren't happy about the pizza thing, I'm sure. Of course. But then I thought Who that would? A, a new couple bought it after the show ended, and then they're the ones that are assholes. It's free pizza, though. That is, I guess, why are you complaining? It's hot because the sun's going to keep it warm. That, that New Mexico sun is going to bake that shit. It's probably going to make it nice and crispy, like the crust, extra crispy, too. Because mm. think about like shingles on the oh. roof. Yeah, that's definitely going to make that nice and crispy. They, they, they do seem like, you know, uh, glass half empty type of people. Yeah, they would look at the pizza and go, oh, great, another asshole threw a pizza on my roof. I got to throw it away. When they should be thinking. A free know, pizza. Exactly. That a stranger was generous enough. I don't have to use money to, to buy food today. No, I, I, maybe I, for maybe for two days. This pizza can last a while. Pizza I, can definitely feed you for two days. <laughs> like a, we're making this like middle classish home like owner come across like they they have to like ration pizza to survive. <laughs> uh, you could e you could easily like if you had to, I could I could half a slice a day, baby. Maybe a quarter slice a day. No, if, if like, if we're talking pure oh. survival, <laughs> okay. if we're talking pure survival, just a little bit, you could Just live off a of pizza probably, uh, for three to four weeks. If you ration it right. It's eight slices. Eight for slices. A large, right? One, right. a four on each side. Of. So have a third of a slice a day, right? You could survive off that. Are you, are you going to feel good? No. You're going to lose a lot of weight. You're not going to get all your nutrients, but will you survive? Yes. But will you get your carbs? Definitely. And that's what's important. You're not going to get, unless it's a pepperoni pizza, you won't get any protein. Yeah, well, you don't need protein. Well, what's, well, what's the pizza carbs. that he throws up? Is it a pepperoni pizza? Because if it's canonically pepperoni, <sighs> I think it's then, cheese. then that's some, uh, I that would be some protein at least, on top of the carbs. I think it's I, th I think it's, I think it's just cheese pizza. Let me see. Yeah, double check. Okay, Matt. I'm checking, dude. Don't yell at me. Oh, I have to pull. Oh, it looks like it's pepperoni. Where's the view? It is pepperoni. Like? And I'll be honest, dude. With a pizza that big, you could live for four to five weeks. Is this the check station? No. You, oh, does it want you to do it? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. It is pepperoni. Yeah, mm. and you could, couldn't you do four to five weeks off that pizza? Yum, 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 yum. I mean, there's dudes that have been lost at sea that, that have rationed, you know, a tiny, tiny bit of food for the longest time, and they live. There are people who have had nothing but their own poop to survive off of. Exactly. Which is a sustainable option if yep. you're lost in the woods. We talked about that in the last episode. If, if you want to learn more and haven't seen the last episode of Truck Simulator, someone might have accidentally skipped it. So if you don't remember us talking about eating feces, you know, you're in for a treat. Go to the last episode. You're in for a treat. I'm a poop monger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, dude. Something about the word poop. It's it's so juvenile. It's like the most juvenile way to say it. <laughs> like doo doo sounds more mature than poop. <sighs> I gotta poop. <laughs> That's just funny. Uh, YouTube's demonetizing poop jokes, by the way. Are they? Yeah, it's a new thing. What? Yeah. That's my bread and butter. I know it's our bread and butter, especially if you're eating it. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, what do you think the longest someone's ever been lost at sea in a tiny boat was? Eight months. 438 days. Jesus. No food, no water, in a tiny ass boat with no roof. This dude. Over a year. Good Lord. This dude. How? Dude, the craziest thing, though, is... Did he survive off of turtle? Uh, yeah. Is that the... Oh, okay. He, well, he drank turtle blood. Interesting. To, for, for water um, and rainwater and stuff. Dude, I can't imagine how traumatizing that would be. Being lost 438 days by yourself at sea. A lot of people would just give up and be like, this is... Well, there, there was a guy on the boat with him in the beginning. That did give up? He died, yeah. I <laughs> like how, like, referencing someone dying <laughs> in a high-intensity survival situation. Just giving up. Just giving up. <laughs> what yeah. a fucking sore loser. <laughs> Talk about flipping the chessboard. <laughs> flipping the chessboard. <laughs> he fucking gave up. He made, like, 220 days in the scorching sun. <laughs> I guess he just couldn't take it anymore. Did his friend eat him? No. What? Yeah, right? That's crazy to I know. me. Um, but but when he was found, the family of... Was he, did he keep his friend on the boat? No. <laughs> okay. The family of the friend sued him. What? Because uh, he didn't keep on to his dead friend's body? Because because they, they tried to claim that he ate him. So they sued him. Is there any proof that he didn't? Did no. I him? mean, he, no one was out there with them. He threw the body off the boat? He kept the belongings of the family, I think. There's a really good real life lore video about it. Who cares if he did eat him? Yeah, dude, he he was trapped, dude. 438 days at sea. I would. I'm being real. If we were in that situation and you died, I'm eating you. Okay. You would do the same to me. If not I that could, there'd be much I don't meat know on the how bones. I would be able to cook your meat. You would have to eat me raw. Would I really? Yeah. Man. Can I leave you out in the sun? To get I mean, also, skin? like, no, you can make. Uh, <laughs> let me crisp a little bit. Yeah, turn you into some jerky. <laughs> I'm sure it's easier to eat human if they're jerky. Think about all the salt in the air, out the ocean. The sun bakes you. Also, like, uh, I mean, I, I imagine also you might be okay eating human raw at that point because by that point, everything you've eaten for the last, like, 100-something, 200-something days has been raw. So your body probably is able to adapt a little Adjusting. bit. Adjusting? Yeah. Oh, no. What is with these fucking... No, a good thing I got over, you know? Yep. Don't tell me they're letting these guys over. No, no. Yep, he's letting them over. Got a good Samaritan over here. Well, I'm not. You'd eat me, right? What? For survival. I'm sure in the in the moment I could bring myself to do it, but it's hard for, for survival, me to imagine. Dude, your 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 brain, when it comes down to the wire of life and death, your your brain will will do anything. That's what I'm saying, but like so it's hard for me to Say, because there are there are cowards in history, you know, like the guy that didn't eat his friend. Yep. Or I guess the bigger coward would be the guy that didn't, didn't that just push died. through. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he got like sick or something. So. Yep. He stood up on the edge of the boat, held up a white flag, and then jumped off. He fired a little gun with that, had a white flag in <laughs> it, and said, "I'm done." <laughs> um, Punk. Yeah. Uh, Ever but, seen Open Water? No. The movie. Sounds scary. About the couple that gets stranded. It's based on the real life story of uh, this couple that went with a group to go scuba diving. Oh. For this thing, and then the boat left them and they oh, were lost I, in open sea. I know that story. They, they surfaced and the boat was gone. Yep. And they died. Yeah, that's fucking terrifying. Well, who uh, knows? Maybe they're still living. <laughs> they're thriving. <laughs> Maybe they're still out there floating somewhere. <laughs> they're just chilling, waiting for the boat to come back. I think um, they found remains or some shit like that. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, but this guy drifted from the coast of, of Chile all the way to like uh like the Philippines. He fell asleep in like a in like a ring with a Budweiser in one hand. No, this these are the guys in the boat. That, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Can we make that a movie, like a serious movie about a guy who like gets lost at sea by f like drifting out and like one of those what are the currents called? Um 
I know what you're talking about, like the oceanic currents, the big ones. Yeah, the ones that pull you in. Rip, rip oh, currents. rip currents. Yeah. Well, dude, the take thing- him out in like a flamingo floaty. He has a Budweiser. He wakes up with his Budweiser and he's chilling in his little ring. Oh, dude. Uh, well, the 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 worst part about the story about the guys that got lost at sea was they were on their their motor died when they could see the shore, and then the current pulled them out. Ooh. So they were that close. Why didn't they just swim? Because I think they figured someone was going to, like, come rescue them. Well, how'd that go for him? Yeah, not too good. <laughs> well, I mean, the guy lived. The guy fucking lived. One of them lived. The winner. <laughs> the winner. The champion. Battle Royale, baby. Dude, I feel like if, if you were in that situation, you would have nightmares about that every night for the rest of your life. Yeah, it's probably hard to... It would. I, I liken it to people who have gone to war. It's probably hard to come back into some sort of... Uh, realm of normalcy after experiencing something like that, something so traumatic. Speaking Except of war, well, I don't know. Is war more fun or traumatic? I'd say more fun. You get to hang out with the boys, you make get to, loud bangs, get to drink all the beer you want. It's like shooting off fireworks. Fireworks are fun. You love shooting those off with the boys. You get to cheat on your wife. Yes, you do. You get to uh, shoot guns, and who doesn't love shooting a gun? I don't know a, a single man who doesn't. And you get to uh, you get to see the world. I mean. My time looks awful right now. It does. You get to travel, dude? What, what's not to love about that? This does look exactly like when you're driving into Phoenix. They got all the uh, overpasses and interchanges or whatever the hell they're called. I what, what route are we taking? I believe this is Highway 10. All right. If I'm not mistaken. We're going to be on this for a bit, aren't we? It is. 10 East. I think it's going to take us all the way there. Oh, my Lord. Or maybe we're actually changing highways right now. I guess we give are. someone a seizure. Turn, turn, turn. No, nope. never mind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You got me scared for a second. I almost ruined the whole mission. No, don't say that. We've gotten out of bigger, bigger oopsies before. Thanks, Ben. I just want to say, though, mm -hmm. if we ever end up in a life and death situation and I die, I give, I just want to put this out there. I give you permission to eat me. I so, don't think that would help with the trauma I'd get from just eating you. But like, I, 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 I at least appreciate that I do have your permission. Think about it, man. It's kind of beautiful. Seems a little less my, disrespectful. My sustenance and, like, energy gets absorbed into you, you know? Isn't that kind of beautiful? Would you mind if I, like, saved your skeleton and then, like, you know, like, on, like, the cover of Time or something, there's those really nice photographs and it's, like, me with your skeleton, with my arm over you. <laughs> and it's, like, me all shaved and cut up clean again. It'd be hard to get a clean <clears throat> skeleton from that, so I'd probably still have, like, how my best friend got me through the worst three years I had seen. <laughs> my, how my best friend was there for me when I needed him the most. <laughs> Ryan McGee took... The type of skeleton, though, where it's like there's still bits of, like, <laughs> flesh, flesh and just, off. like... You, you can see, like, teeth gnaw marks on the bone. <laughs> like, I was gnawing it to get a like, scrap of meat on your skull. Like, my skeleton's not bleached at all, so it's just disgusting yellow and, like, red and just, like, brown. <laughs> Cracked and do you ever hear about those people that their plane crashed in like the Andes Mountains? I didn't eat your penis because I didn't want to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> Even though testicles Dude, that's are happened. apparently a good source of protein. You know that's happened. <laughs> There's been a life or death thing, but the guy wouldn't eat the other guy's penis because it was gay. Like those people in Russia that got like resorted into cannibalism during what was it, World War One, Two, some shit like that. Oh, and they'd eat their kids. I don't know if they eat. The I know they ate their dogs and then resorted to cannibalism or something. Maybe they ate their kids. Hey, if their kids couldn't kick it, <laughs> kids just couldn't <laughs> hack it, you know? I couldn't hack it. Uh, no, but did you ever hear about that crazy story of that, like, soccer team that crashed in the Andes Mountains? And they were, they all had to, like, eat each other and shit. And they actually, some of them survived, but they were out there for, like, a year or some shit. Maybe it was less than a year or more. I don't know. Are they thankful for that experience? They better they be. Teach them how precious life is. But the media, like, smeared them when they came back. You cannibalistic villain. Well, did they kill their friends and then eat them, or did no. their friends die and no. then they ate them? They died and they ate mm, them. That's always the story. But isn't they it? got smeared for that by the media. Like the movie, uh, what was it called? Into the Sea, that was based on a true story of some whale hunting dude. Then he, their, their crew resorts to cannibalism. Every cannibal story, they go, they died first. We didn't, we didn't kill. I, I, come on. They had to have. I mean, I'd be honest. I'd rather eat you while you're fresh and not sick. Like if you die sick and malnourished, then what good is that for me? Exactly. 
That's no nourishment at all. It's much better to... You're a growing boy. To, to eat you while you're still warm, you know? What percentage of the human body is actually edible, though? Probably most of it. You can eat liver. You can eat, you can eat all types of organs. You can Think eat of, heart. Yeah. You can eat flesh. Ooh, heart is very meaty, huh? Oh, yeah. You can eat a... Uh, I mean, you can eat fat. You know, Daenerys had to eat the heart of a horse to prove herself worthy of being the bride of Khal Drogo. Did you know that? No, I didn't, but that's insane. Right? Wow. Daenerys Targaryen, if you were confused. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was thinking of another <laughs> Daenerys. <laughs> oh, man. Look at us driving through the night, man. Yeah. The headlights, the Cut. other lights. Couple brothers the on the road. On the road, it would be fun to to truck with you. You know, just imagine this in real life. You you and I sitting up there in the cabin taking shifts. Just Are we, get, do we have any cargo? Yeah, uh, we're look, pulling a motor home with the with the super mega boys in the back living in there. It's the new super megaplex. We're yep. relocating it to the middle of the desert. I mean, okay. So if we just took our show on the road and just worked from a truck, whose state tax laws do we do we adhere by? Wherever our business is. Uh, Wherever our business is located. Why don't we just set up our business in another, like, Maryland? Um, no, Delaware. A Delaware is the, the best state for taxes for business, apparently. Why don't we just set up the business there? Buy a, buy a little shitty office, never use it, say that's super mega headquarters, and this is our off, off branch. I'm pretty sure the IRS is good at, <clears throat> at picking that stuff up. Doubt it. What if we send, like, Leighton and Justin to go live there? So they have to work remote. No, they work at the, we work remotely. Yes. Why did we start our, dude, why didn't we start our business in South Carolina? Because we're losers. Yeah, we are. Because we, we weren't making shit and we didn't know each other in South Carolina. Now Uncle Sam is fucking reaching deep into our pockets every month. Oh yeah. Going, mm, more for me, more for me, thanks. And not fixing these damn roads. Nope. My money's going to pedophiles, perverts. And, and and serial killers oh, getting them getting them steak dinners and loaded potatoes in the in in jail. Jim's not getting any of that. Thanks, <laughs> man. man. Oh, you know they're getting them loaded potatoes with my tax dollars. Yeah, fucking the prisoners in the in the state penitentiary eating a oh a de, I bet a delicious baked potato with lobster fucking... tail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish like the, I wish like every stereotype about prisons true except they just serve the best food. Like every night's like a like a five <laughs> five star buffet. Like 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 prisons have Michelin stars for how good the food is. Like Bourdain did an episode where he goes to a prison, and tries the food with the prisoners. This is the best thing I've ever had. Is that what he sounds like? He has an American accent. This is the best thing I've ever had. Yep. Does that sound like him? Mm -hmm. This is the best thing I've ever had. I'm Anthony Bourdain. My ex-lover uh, was a bit of a groomer. Really? I think so. Oprah? You dated Oprah? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Hmm. I don't, that's a joke. Oprah does... I don't know if Oprah grooms people. I doubt she does. But did, <laughs> Bourdain didn't... Date Oprah, right? No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. How did I miss that? I love Bourdain so much. Uh, it was very devastating when he died. Yeah. Uh, Parts Unknown is a fantastic show. I, I think everyone should watch it. It's, uh... Dude, it's just like, it's like, it's just him just going around to different places and, like, eating different food, but it's, like, food's not even, like, the focus, almost. It's, like, it's more about, like, him just, like, experiencing these cool places and, like, talking to people and Bourdain's just such a, a likable charismatic guy so that's why it was so like sad when he passed it was very unexpected it's a good thing we still have the great British Bake Off show yeah thank god which is actually really good I, I don't know what I would have done if uh, Bourdain passed and we didn't have the great British Bake Off I think Chopped is still around Hell's Kitchen I don't know if Hell's Kitchen dude I watched the first season of Hell's Kitchen last year and uh what the fuck oh he uh it's a ridiculous show, dude. It's fun, though. I just remember, like, one of the contestants was, like, having kidney stones, and he was, like, on the ground in the middle of the night, like, grabbing his, like, stomach. And everyone's kind of, like, just, like, being an asshole to him about it. 
while he's passing these like massive kidney stones. Which I heard, you know, kidney stones aren't, well, Jim gets kidney stones. Yes, Jim does get kidney stones. That one's not a joke, he does. And uh, he has to go to the doctor once a year and they have to stick a camera up his pee pee while he's awake. And I'm like, I, I'll do it for free, man. Well, you used to stick your Nintendo DS stylus down your down your penis. Or up my penis, depending on... True, it's all the, relative. The, the direct, yeah, right. Why do you stick something up your butt but down your penis? Ever I guess because most people think you're holding your penis and it's erect and it's pointed up when you're sticking something down into it. Where, like, with your butt, you're usually sticking something, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. We solved the mystery there. You know, if you have a if you have a sharpie marker, you know, in your in your nightstand, <laughs> just put a Ziploc bag over that over that sucker and go to town. <laughs> I mean, a sharpie is such an easily washable item, though. You don't even need to use a Ziploc bag. True. I, Ziploc bags have sharp edges. What am I doing? You know. Yeah. I almost. Uh, yeah, it's made all right, man. It's okay. You forgive me. Yeah, I'll drive in the next episode if you want. Ooh, okay. Oh, swerving around. Every now, I gotta correct myself every now and then. Hey, making progress though. Making progress. Look at us. Man, I'm over here. What are you sipping, over here? Uh, what are you doing? I'm sipping a can of G Fuel Tetris Blast. No more pussy energy drinks. No, there's only a couple left in the fridge. I want to save those. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty gross. We don't have any more monster, I'm guessing. No, just uh, G Fuel Tetris Blast. We have. T I don't know where it came from. What's the flavor? Oh, of inspired by Tetris. No way. What, what's the flavor supposed to be like? Dude, I don't fucking even... Un I, I, let me try to tell you what notes I'm detecting. Okay. All right. Aerate the sip. So what do you think? Now take another sip. Hmm. It's almost like pineapple. Mmm. Cherry. Okay. Blue raspberry. It's a lot. Damn. So I mean, dude, you. So, tetch, so it's just a mixture. You take a sip of this, man. Okay, okay, hold up. You try to tell me what G Fuel Tetris Blast tastes like. So it's like a. Cherry's definitely in there. Yeah. Tastes pineapple? Or am Wait. I tripping? There's a little bit of pineapple. That is awful. Yeah. That's like a Kool Aid. Um, it tastes like diet Kool Aid, but you put too much sugar into the Kool Aid. So fizzy. Yeah, it's carbonated. Zero calories, Ryan. Really? Not a single calorie in this whole can. Lucky us. Out of all 473 milliliters, not a single calorie. And guess what? Zero sugar. How about fiber? 300% uh, your daily value. A fiber? Yeah. Nice. 200% uh, your daily value of protein. No, it's zero everything except sodium. And then it has... Potassium. Hey, man, all right. It's 50% of your vitamin C, 25 of your B6, 25 of your ni niacin, and 25 of your B12. So, I mean... B12, that's a good vitamin. I love that vitamin. Who doesn't love good, some good B12? I love some good B vitamins, you man. You know, getting you, some, getting, getting you an appetite in you, you know? I got to start taking more B vitamins. 300 milligrams of caffeine? Dude. That's a lot. That's a shit ton of caffeine. How many would you say is in a normal cup of coffee? Cup of coffee is 80, I think. 80 milligrams of caffeine? I think if, I think it's like around 80. I had coffee this morning. It's the first time I've made myself coffee in my in my own homestead. Really? Are you starting to drink coffee? I, I, I'm trying to get out of the fucking monster energy drinks, and coffee's the next best thing if I want something Coffee has health benefits. Up. I can't believe I'm, t I'm turning into this. Well, I mean, you're 28. I think it's about time. Time you start. Most most people start drinking coffee a decade before that. You know you're getting old when you start eating peanut M and M's. <laughs> drinking coffee and eating peanut. Well, what do you put anything in the coffee? You drink it black. No, I don't drink it black. I put some like fucking creamer in it. That's how I started. And then uh, I don't have to go to this way station. Do I, I just became a black man. Do I have to go to this way station? Nope. Okay. Bypass it. Yes. I love a good black coffee. Kill Bill. The rapper? Yeah, it's a Kill Bill reference. Black coffee. Start my day with an awfully hot coffee pot. When he was on a 
tour with me and you know he would always do that song uh black coffee and the lyric goes start my day with a pot of black coffee and there were so many shows where I, I tried so hard before he would go on just to get him to I'd just say please say start my day with an awfully hot coffee pot but he didn't do it did once. not do it not once he's got a reputation to uphold yeah Donkey Kong with a big bong start my day with an awfully hot coffee pot it still works it actually flows better than black coffee because start my day with a pot of black coffee that, what does that rhyme with but start my day with an awfully hot coffee pot it's genius. Just down the. How long has it been nighttime? I'd say a whole night. Oh, it's five fourteen a.m. Okay. How much faster does time go? Every how many seconds is a minute? Uh, I'll count it for you. Like um, three seconds. Ready? I'll count it. One, two, three, four. I think it's uh, about three seconds. Nice. Our truck doesn't have too much damage. I don't think our engine's in a, in like a state to go off, go a wall. It's three know? seconds. Yeah, no, we're we, we we're good on damage as yeah. long as we like keep it around where it's at. Oh, look at the sunrise, man! Right, heading straight into fucking Texas with the sun rising behind us. Well, right now we're headed straight into a. Uh... Oh damn! Yeah, we're in uh, New Mexico. Look at that. Dude, look look at look at how many places we've never been now. Yeah, we've we've made some progress in this trip. Go up. Yeah, man, we have a lot to explore. Wait, is that is the yellow where we've been? Yeah, yellow's where we've been. Ooh, we've been a lot of places. We have, but also have not been to a lot of places, you know what I'm saying? You know? Wait, I didn't okay, we came up. I bet there's some good jobs out in Texas. Texas is huge. You know the best state for taxes apparently is Alaska. Why don't we move the company there? We could get a nice little office building cheap in Alaska. You know they have great internet because no one's using it. That's what Starlink's for. We'd be miserable in Alaska. What? Just get a fireplace. Oh, that's true. Like, how cold is it right now in Anchorage? Figure that out. Siri? Search it up. How cold is it in Anchorage, Alaska right now? 26 degrees. Ain't too bad. You know, it was probably about that, but it probably like 10, probably a 10 degrees difference um, in South Carolina. It was like 30 something. Dude, it was cold 30. in South Carolina. It was nice though. It wasn't like sometimes when I go back during the holidays, it's like a biting, like uncomfortable cold. This was the coldest I've felt it because uh, of that whole Arctic. I think in 2015 Four it was tags. like 19 degrees or something like it that. It was uh, 13. Ooh, in over Charleston. in Charleston? Well, right you by the, the ocean. Uh, what am I doing? I'm sorry. Or right, let me correct myself. It felt like 13. It was actually like 22, but it felt like 13 because I was staying near the beach to so the wind chill and everything. It was cold. Ooh. Can we actually report drunk drivers? <laughs> we should call the number. <laughs> 911. Yeah, the game told me to call this number. Uh, and report uh, in the game it looks like a guy's swerve what are you talking about in truck simulator the no, game I am playing we'll spend five minutes describing the situation before <laughs> we let them know it's a game yeah I'm on the I'm on the 10 east and uh do they have license plate numbers that are like randomly generated Let's see where this one oh sorry I was trying to look at the license plate I remember I watched this prank call back in the day where this guy called like like a like a law firm for like car accidents and robberies and he spent like 30 minutes describing like uh s like damages and like stuff he had lost in a robbery just to like basically but like he was just describing like what had happened to him in gta so like she finds out after like 30 minutes that he's talking about a <laughs> video game and she's like wait you th this happened in a video game <laughs> and he's like yes Dude, I used to love prank call videos. Making crank phone calls. You made a few uh, crank calls when we were on tour. Man, I want to make some more prank phone calls soon. Las Cruces. Dude, this is where... Uh, this is where uh, in Breaking Bad, when Badger uh, gets all the um, Sudafed. Is this where he goes? The, he, J uh, Jesse says he has to drive three hours each way to Las Cruces to get his Sudafed. 
Okay. Something like that. I'm glad that you remember a little... <gasps> We're so close to Albuquerque, dude. Look at this. Are we going to Albuquerque? No. Are we going to pass through Albuquerque? Mm, no. Mm, I'm pretty sure Albuquerque is a lot more north than this, buddy. It says it's one mile away. This is half a mile to Albuquerque. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is misleading. Yes. You know, it would make you think you're half a mile when really you're just half a mile from this from point. the highway. Yes. That you're already on. Yeah, we're not going to Albuquerque, unfortunately. I do love New Mexico. New Mexico intrigues me for its UFO history. Roswell? What's up with that? We should go to Roswell for, for a video. Roswell, New Mexico. We already did Area 51. Ooh. We should drive to Roswell. Does it have as a uh, fun of a... Do you think they have little hotels based off of... Oh, UFOs? yeah. Okay. I go to Roswell. Man, you and I got to take a creative retreat to Area... I want to do more creative retreats. We should go back to Area 51 and do one there. All those UFOs up in the sky? Dude, I actually, saw? like, like I really want to go back and see all that again. That was so cool. Maybe the people will be nicer this time. Hopefully. You know, living all the way out there, I guess. Uh, this guy trying to race me? Looks like it, man. Okay. I do like that about New Mexico. All the freeways, like, overpasses have, like, little designs on them like that. So, uh... Okay, hold up. El Paso. Are we in Texas? No I guess way. We're in, yeah, it just said we're leaving New Mexico. Yeah, we're in Texas. And... You can see us explore Texas in the next episode. Right. That teach him. That, that'll teach him. Taught him a lesson, yeah. Bye. Bye.